Hey guys, uh, today we're going to talk about curved walls and straight walls, and in this case, fencing. Uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about the benefits of curved walls. We're going to look at the cost of materials associated with it and some labour. And uh, we're going to look at how to quickly draw a curved wall. So uh, let's have a quick look at a, a straight wall and what it consists of. A straight wall would require a bigger footing and obviously tie downs in it because uh, it's more likely to push over. There's nothing opposing the wind or retaining there and therefore it'll need these piers that will be set on top of a footing. However, a curved wall, because the bricks are tied in, they kind of work with each other to ensure that the wind won't push it over or it can retain soil. Now, I'm not an engineer, guys, so you probably want to speak to an engineer before you figure out the radius of your curves, but I'm going to show you how to go about doing it once you have that information. Uh, let's have a quick look through the curved wall. Uh, personally, I like the curved wall. It's different. Uh, it's probably not as formal, uh, and it'd be great for landscaping. You could really do some nice things with landscaping here. You'll notice in this scene here, I've actually created this uh, little template, and we'll look at that a little bit further because it's very difficult with a curved wall to run a string line. So we're going to need something we can build these uh, curved walls with. Um, but first things first, let's have a quick look at the price difference in materials and labor. All right, so I'm going to select this wall here, right click, and I'm going to take off the selection. And inside of here we have slabs, inside of the slab we have the quantities, we have brickwork and brick hardware and so on. And I'm at roughly $40,000 there. And I'm going to quickly do a takeoff on this one here. Right click, take off selection. And I'll move this one over here, I'll put it down here. And we have slabs. Uh, and we'll go through these here a little bit. Okay, so you can see that there's roughly $6,500 difference in these two projects. Uh, and I have allowed for the framing of the uh, ply template that I drew down there before. So around about seven or eight hundred dollars there. Uh, so here's the thing. This one on the left, the straight wall, could probably be attacked from multiple ends. The corner and the ends and you could work your way to the center probably a lot more easily than you could with the curved wall. This would have to be set out and there'd probably be another day in setting out and moving templates around and creating multiple templates. So if you use three templates, this price here would go up by three. I'll quickly do that. So let's say 2,200. 200 as a fixed price for these templates. And now you can see we're at 35. So that $5,000 difference. And obviously there's gonna be more time involved in digging footings and so on. So you know what? I don't think it's a cost thing it would drive you towards a curved fence. Potentially, if you were retaining soil, uh, your engineer could tell you there'd be a better solution. Uh, so all in all, the prices are similar in this amount of distance. So I've got 24 meters by 43 meters here, uh, and that would be an external fence. And obviously there's going to be contingency and council fees and all that kind of stuff. I haven't got into that, guys, um, uh, but that could quite easily be added if you wanted to. So I'm going to close down these takeoffs here, and uh, I don't want to keep that open, and no, I don't want to keep that open. And what we're going to do now is we're going to look at how we would start drawing a fence. And so as you can see, I've drawn uh, three curves here, but there's an easier way than just using an arc tool because it's kind of unreliable. And it's ideally, all of these um, segments of the arc are actually the length of the brick. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And the, fir the, the first thing you probably need to know is this is a standard sheet apply. So in Australia, 2400 by 1200, which is a four by eight sheet uh, in Imperial, and it's pretty standard around the world. And ideally, uh, using uh, a sheet apply, and you can see over here, I've used a different radius. Uh, so I've got three sheets applied to get that there. But I'm just going to do a two sheet radius and we'll have a quick look at it. So what I need to do is what I've done is I've come out half of the sheet here and half of the sheet from the center. And that way, this is where I'm going to start my radiuses from. And instead of using an arc, I'm going to use a circle. But the first thing I need to know is the dimension, uh, sorry, uh, the distance of half the circle. Uh, right. Uh, so. So here I've drawn a line here. I need to divide this line into two. So I found the center point. And I need to know this, this distance here, which is the diameter of the circle. Right, 1697. So what I can do now is I can use my circle tool, which is C, and I can quickly just draw my circles in. And you notice in the bottom right hand corner here, it's 1697. Okay, and I'm going to need another circle here which will be 1697 as well. 
And now you can see that my curve is going to be a lot shallower on this particular uh, example. But what I also need to do is I need to actually divide it so uh, the distance, because SketchUp is actually drawing straight lines to create a curve, I want them to be the, as close to the length of my brick plus the perpendicular joint uh, so that I can um, uh, ensure that the, my template is working to brick sizes. So what I did is I right clicked on the circle and I've gone divide. Now I can now figure out what the length is here to divide these up into. And you can notice there, if I zoom in, you'll notice that I'm looking closer to a brick length. So 239 is pretty close because the brick in Australia is 240 long and therefore I can divide that circle up. And you'll notice that now when I zoom in, I've actually got a shorter distance from here to here than I do here. And essentially that enables me to uh, divide my lengths up and you can see that here I need to divide this length up uh, so divide and I want to get as close to the size 242 and I want to do the same here divide and I can remember the, the, the number of segments here and type it in right Okay, so essentially I can now go and just basically go to right click my walls and I can create a similar wall. Now this is plus spec uh, that I'm using here and it's gonna put in my footings. It basically took all of the attributes out of the, this wall, which is the height of the wall, the type of wall and the type of footing and size. And I can simply go here and start to trace over my wall. And I'm going to come across a change in direction here. And I'll show you how this all works out in a second, guys, because this is kind of pretty easy to do, because working my brick dimensions and therefore will have less waste, less cuts, faster erection of the wall. Okay, almost done. Get in there, double click. Okay, and now I have my wall drawn. So I can get rid of all of this geometry now. I'm gonna make it a group, uh, make group, and I'm gonna hide that group, right? And now I can actually just select this wall. I can actually go here, right click walls, <clears throat> and select connector walls, right? And I can go right click, make group. Now if I want to change the type of brick that was used here, I could do that really easily as well by just going inside of that brick, that brick and changing the height of the wall or whatever it is. So I basically have a parametric wall. If I made it into a component, I could actually just break into the component and do it. Um, I'm just gonna show you how we can uh, create this into a, a longer brick wall and I'll just say times 10. All right, and you'll see that I actually have that. Now obviously to make a, a, a change in the curve, we could grab one and we could start to move it around further like I did down here. And uh, that's something, if you guys need any training or anything on this, by all means, let us know. But at the end of the day, we've created a parametric brick wall uh, that can uh, use a template to be created and looks pretty swish. I also think it's gonna be a lot easier to mow. One thing I do have a uh, a bit of experience with mowing and uh, you know when she started to try and get around these areas here it kind of and, and cutting the grass it's slow whereas here I think it'd be a lot quicker anyway guys be interested to hear your thoughts if you like the video push like if you dislike it push dislike and tell us why all right guys take it easy